Any questions? Greg, how do you feel about uh, coming into a program that's sort of rebuilding from the almost from the bottom up? Um, I feel good about it. Uh, I'm I'm kind of got that little challenges. Uh, so, and I feel like it's something I've done before. You know, at Marquette, especially we just came from last year. We came from a coaching change. Everybody was expecting that to be a rebuild. But Shaka, he told me, you know, when he came in last year, that we weren't rebuilding nothing. We was going in to make a statement, no matter who we was going against or no matter what. And I feel like I want to do the same thing here. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not trying to rebuild nothing. We rebuilding it, but at the same time, I don't mean we got to take losses to learn stuff. You know, like we got a lot of older guys. We can learn from our experience we didn't have over the past. So that don't mean we got to take losses early to learn something. So I feel like that's something that's going to come in with me personally. So. I feel like I've been through it, so I feel like I've been through it so the guys can see I'm a person that led by example. I can do it again. I know you're just getting used to guys, um, but what statement do you think you guys can make as a team, just how you've gotten to know your teammates? Um, I feel like the statement to be honest, like I just said, it's not a rebuild. Uh, we we here to make something happen, and it's not won't be a surprise to nobody that, but the people that's on the outside looking in. Uh, we just going to come in, and every day we're going to build it brick by brick. And that's our goal every day is to lay that brick. And if we, if we don't do that, then we lose. But I feel like the team and learning these guys, that's what we're doing, building brick by brick. You guys have a few freshmen, but you have a lot of older, particularly guards, that came in. Do, does it feel like an older team? I mean, do you look around your teammates and feel like you guys have a bunch of like yeah. old guys on the team? Um, it, it feels good being around a lot of older guys. Um, it's like, you know, you don't have to repeat yourself as much, you know. It, but at the same time, we still do have those young guys that, you know, look to us. And that's that's a good thing for our team. We got enough people that know what's going on in terms of college basketball to where our younger guys won't be, just be on the, out on the island. You know, that's how it is usually when the freshmen come to college. They just out there. They don't know what's going on. They got to get adjusted to everything. But now you got Dior who he can come to one of us four older guys, you know, where he won't just be out there stuck. He can come talk to us. And we done been through it so we can help him get through whatever he's trying to get through. Instead of just bumping his head and bumping his head, we can lead him and jump over that little law. Greg, what sold you on Pitt? Uh, I'll probably say um, Coach Cable. Uh, he played a huge part in it. Um, the relationship I got with Coach uh, Jake Persuti, uh, we had a real, real big relationship when I was at Marquette. He was one of our assistant coaches. That played a part. And then the conversation I had with John on my visit, uh, he was just telling me how he was like, tired of playing in crowds all the time. And I told him that's something I could definitely help him out with. So, man, I, that's really what it was. Those relationships, those three people, they, they were key mainly. But I say the biggest key was Coach Cable and John, because you feel me? It's like, it's different. You know, assistant coaches can tell you what they want to get you to a program, but when a head coach tells you something, and then, you know, the best player on that team is telling you being basically the same thing, that's, that's big for a guy that's, you know, looking to find a new home, so. You've obviously been known for your strong outside shooting, shooting 41% in your career so far. Uh, but tell us a little more about your game. You know, what are your best strengths out there on the court? Uh, I'm a guy that's going to bring a lot of energy. Uh, offensively, defensively, like you said, I can shoot the basketball. Um, I'm not just a shooter. Uh, I can make plays in a ball screen. Uh, you know, you take my shot away, I can, you know, get to a pull-up. And I, I mean, it don't even just got to be me shooting. You know, I can be a playmaker for others as well. So I just want people to get a chance to see that. What has Coach told you or hinted at you that maybe signifies what your role could be with this team? Um, get John space. Make space for John. Uh, that's really it, honestly. Because from film I've watched, it's been, you know, you throw the ball to John, there's at least six eyes on him or eight at times. So, I mean, you can't do that if I'm on the opposite side. So, I mean, you can if you want to. But like you just said, I shot 41 from three, so. I feel like, you know, just knowing I'm on the other side should take up a lot of, take at least another set of eyes off John. So I think that would be my role. And then I would say make open shots and then make the right basketball play. No, you know, I don't have to shoot every time. I can kick it. Might be a one more. John could throw it out to me and I could throw it back to him. We can play catch all day, honestly, you know. It's whatever my team need me to do, though, I can do it. Where, where does that confidence come from that you have? Uh, honestly, it comes from the work I put in. Um, I feel like if I put the work in, I, I shouldn't have no no disregard, like, disregard for myself, honestly. I work too hard to not have confidence in myself. 
And then at the same time, it come from my family too. Like, like I just said, I put the work in and I know at the end of the day, they're gonna believe in me no matter what. So if I know my family got me and I got myself, that confidence will never go nowhere. And that's one thing I, I live by and I try and pass on other people because you can't do nothing without confidence in yourself. That's where it starts. That's the base foundation for real. If you don't have confidence in yourself, how other people gonna have confidence in you? Greg, you guys, there's a lot of you guys, new faces coming in this year, but you in the backcourt, you've got, now you've got Jamaris, guys that know that, that were here last year, what have they done for you to help you kind of, one, integrate into the campus and two, get used to the team? Um, so first, so it, it all started when I got to campus. Uh, I got here like June, uh, Nelly reached out. So like for Nelly, it's been, you know, everybody's been talking about the homecoming, you know, him coming back home. And really, we all just been trying to like, make sure we take all the pressure, like, you know, pass the pressure onto each other. You know, it's not just on one man. I don't, we don't want one person to feel like it's all on them. Uh, John, you know, Nelly, but we just, we just been going out there trying to make sure we all know we got to focus on accomplishing this one goal and that's to win basketball games. So I feel like if we're going out there and accomplishing that goal together as a team, then it's more power in numbers. So I feel like if we stay together, nobody can break through. How much of that pressure comes from within? Honestly, it, a lot of it does, but at the same time, looking at the record from last year, you can see that where the pressure comes from. It's not just within. It's, you can you can feel it. You know, pit, pit basketball is trying to get back where it's, where it belongs, and that's what we're trying to do. Greg, you played with uh, two new guards last year, and Daryl Michelle and Tyler mm -hmm. Kolek. Are there any similarities or differences between how you're developing your relationship and chemistry with uh, now your Johnson Nelly Cummins as you did the year prior? Um, not really. I feel like you go into it with the same open mindset. Uh, you know, you got to be willing to learn new things. I, that's what I do. I try and go in every day, try and learn something new, whether that's with the game of basketball or something new about my teammates. Um, so I feel like the similarities for me would be just I've been through it before. You know, most of the time you be with guards at, you know, two, three years. So for me, I just did it. So like I know what it's like to play with newer guards. But at the same time, it's just we got to learn how – like where each other like to be on the floor. Like I, I like I'm, I'm learning Nike love to cut. So like if I drive middle, I won't look for him to stay there. I look for him to cut. JB he want to slouch to the corner. He gonna try and shoot. Nelly same way. Dior he want the ball so he can get downhill on his own. But at the same time, it's just coming with day by day. We just you know being around each other. So the more use we like, the more we get used to each other, the better it's gonna be. Is there any one leader? Like just one guy that's like that's like the first guy in the room that you guys are like, hey, hey all right, all right we got. Like, you, know, you got here first and you got to set the tone for everybody or is it because you guys are all experienced you kind of just feed off each other um so mainly i would say we feed off each other but for like just for around based on like who's been here the longest i would probably say that voice would be jb uh like for me personally that was the person i looked for like looked towards whenever i needed someone or didn't know what was going on so i would say jb he's been here the longest and then and then it's collective at the same time. Like we talked about before, you know, we got a good group of guards that's older. So we didn't see a lot of what college basketball got to throw at us. So we got to be the ones that, you know, be the, we the head of the team at the, anyway, you know, other than our coach. So we got to be the ones that's ready for whatever. Do you uh, good by the phrase when you're, when you're, yeah. What did it say? Greatest player on earth, when you're on the arm over there. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I feel like that. I'm supposed to, but. It, if we're going to be honest, I think LeBron the best. So. <laughs> He's better than you? I mean, 6'9", 260, you can't really do nothing about that. So, But I got John, though. I, I'll put John out there okay. for sure. All right. LeBron or MJ? All right, I'm realistic. All right, I've watched MJ, but like, it's the way I do it. I think my dad would be proud. So to me, I got LeBron. Cause that's what I seen. Like, oh three, I'm born in ninety nine. That's what I saw. I didn't see Jordan do it. I'm sorry. I'm, I really do apologize. But I heard he was good. You get, don't get me wrong. But I'm taking Brown because what I saw. But like what I've seen, Last Dance was amazing. But you know, but I'm taking Brown. Sorry, we better, we better shut this yeah. down. <laughs> Bring this guy back. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring him back a little bit. I got, I got to show him you. 